Hi, my name is Hannah Thomas, and this is the Future Filmmakers podcast called Rediscovering Your Passion. We want to help you discover yourself, discover your filmmaking dreams today, rediscover that passion that's been with you forever, and give you some helpful steps on how to pursue your filmmaking dreams today. But Daniel, what is one of the biggest struggles that you face as an artist, as someone who's pursuing the acting career? So I think my biggest obstacle that I face on a daily basis is self-worth. I'll be honest with everybody listening to this podcast, I don't think I'm worth it. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think that, you know, this is something that's feasible for me. But, you know, I have my girlfriend, I have Hannah from Future Filmmakers, I have friends around me who look at the work that I do and they inspire me to not fulfill my dream, but to give me insight that I can fulfill my dream. You know, I look at myself every day in the mirror and I'm like, look at all the thousand flaws that you have. You're not the, you know, the most good looking. You don't have the best hair. You don't have, you know, the, the best body in the world. But at the end of my day, when I go to bed and I have this booming headache from all this self-doubt, I think about it and I'm like, wow, I spent a lot of time talking myself down. I spent a lot of time beating myself up for no reason. And... It sucks. It sucks. So, you know, when I got on the phone with Hannah today, I told her that I'm trying to be happier and I'm trying to believe in myself more. So, you know, I'm trying not to care what people think. I'm trying not to care what I think. I'm doing what I love and no one's gonna stop me. Okay, this is, this is a lot easier than a lot of things I've been through in my life and if I can handle that, I can handle this. So if you're the same way, if you don't think you're good enough or if you don't have those, you know, perfect Instagram faces or perfect Instagram bodies, just know they pay a lot of money for Photoshop. Just letting everyone know that, you know, a lot of things you see online are not real. And my camera just died. Really? I just want to say that I think all of Daniel's, I think all of Daniel's self-doubt is a load of crap. Just wanna put that out there because I've never met someone who's had as much, almost, I've lived, I don't think I've ever met anyone who's had as much of a drive as Daniel. I'm being serious. Like there's no person in this world that I've met that wants this more. And I think if you want it that bad, you're willing to do whatever it takes to make it. So that's just how I know that Daniel's gonna make it. So he needs to stop with all this self-doubt. But um, I'm glad that he acknowledges that he has um, this issue of doubting himself so much and that he's working towards being a more positive person and he's told me that he's in a lot happier place than he's been in the past and I'm really, really happy for that and I want Daniel to know that and all those other people out there who are watching right now, you are not alone and you have the Future Filmmakers community here to support you through this because we know that it's hard it really is hard and I self-doubt really bothers me all the time when people have self-doubt because it takes time to get there it takes time to build your knowledge build your your ability to be an actor or be a filmmaker so I hate when people put themselves down all the time because they're comparing themselves to people who are already successful and I just feel like that's unhealthy because it's going to take you time. The best piece of advice I can give for that is to compare yourself to yourself yesterday. See how much you've improved and how much you've grown personally. Don't compare yourself to the people who've been doing this for like 10 years. Why are you going to compare yourself to someone who's been doing this for 10 years? It makes no sense. Don't do that to yourself. You do not deserve it. You don't deserve those negative thoughts. And Daniel is very talented and extremely motivated and extremely hardworking. So it makes me mad that <laughs> he has self-doubt. But we all have self-doubt. So definitely know that. Definitely know that. Yeah. And, well, my <laughs> camera's dead. So... Um, we're not gonna have the rest of my odd my video, but that's gonna be okay because we work with what we got You know, I don't got a hundred batteries to work with but we start with something right? 
Um, but what I kind of wanted to add to that was, yeah, you know, I struggle with all this stuff. I struggle with self-doubt and I struggle with, you know, just believing in myself and it takes a toll. But like I just said, you know, I'm working to, to better myself. I'm working to, to love myself for who I am and really see my self-worth because, you know, I do have it. Uh, I'm a lot better than than what I give myself credit for. And I remember a, a great quote from Matthew McConaughey. When he switched into film, somebody asked him, I was like, well, who's your hero? He's like, well, what do you mean? Who's your hero? And he's like, no, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna get back to you on that. And so he, he went back and he said, my hero is me in 10 years. You know, it kind of took the, took the person off, off guard. Well, what do you mean? Well, in 10 years, I'm going to be a completely different man. You know, and 10 years later, he had to ask himself again, who's my hero in 10 years? Well, it's going to be me again in another 10 years. And I think what he's saying is, you know, just, you know, as Hannah said, don't compare yourself to people who are, have already made it. Don't, you know, compare yourself to people who, you know, have already been through what you've been through, gotten through it, and made it. You know, they have experiences, and they went through hardships that you have not faced yet. So they found their hero. Allow yourself to find those struggles. Allow yourself to fight through them. And you're gonna come out your own very own hero. I think that's what, you know, Matthew McConaughey did. You know, he started out in his late 20s, and I'm over here 22 years old thinking I'm never gonna make it. It's like time, Time is irrelevant. You're not in a race. You know, don't allow yourself to think that because you're going to trip and you're going to fall hard. So I'm going to walk this one. And, you know, I'll cross the finish line, but when I'm ready to. So. Okay. <laughs> I think I messed up. <laughs> I'm not going to LA because I think LA is the only place that I can make it because I, I have this feeling that the industry is changing. I have a feeling that independent filmmakers are able to rise up through small platforms like YouTube. I know YouTube is so powerful and I want to see where future filmmakers takes me and takes these individuals all around me.